Hello and welcome guys. So about almost six years ago I did a video where I described that we were changing to rechargeable batteries and yeah and the video was not very good and not very much watched and yeah, now that we have six years in it's time for an update share my experiences and yeah now that I have six years in the process um I can speak much more with much more authority. So here we see the batteries which have been the, the normal batteries which we have raised it in that time and uh, like six years ago we had a similar size six sack but I didn't write down the weight so this is 3.8 kilograms or 8.42 pounds of used batteries and this, those are the batteries we raised it during the last six years and I had like a similar sized bag uh, from my first video which i didn't show in my video <laughs> and so have don't have to wait anymore but i think that's about the amount of batteries we used to use in a year and the kits were much smaller so um yeah that's a certainly improvement and most of those batteries came with uh, like some small electronic devices and tic tacs and stuff and such so um, we didn't buy too many of them so and almost all my predictions have actually come true but one point uh let's start with the stuff i didn't had so much on my on my radar at that point and that's chargers at the first thing because uh, here it's really i'm usually not a fan of the buy cheap buy twice saying but uh, the chargers were really in a direction where this could be true i just got this uh, charger from ensman power line for ultra so i can't really say much about this yet but uh, this one can actually test the batteries and that's a very important feature i would say but uh, that probably comes in later in the process so that's like like 80 euros at the moment 80 bucks um that's really something which can be quite useful if you want to see uh, can i still use those batteries or do i have to throw them away but that's expensive but you probably end up with something like this and i checked there are cheaper models but they have like only one test channel so here we can test four batteries at once this one here is also from the same company this one uh, has like an intelligent loading cycle so uh, what it means that you can you can um still recharge batteries which have to has be have been discharged too lowly so uh, a normal chair charger would show them as broken you can put them in here and they will still they will be intelligent charged they they i think they they uh they have like a, a rhythm a curve which they, they try to charge it with very low currency currents and that can revive most batteries I, I think i've like like had like two or such which i could could not revive that way um those that low discharge problem does only occur very very rarely most devices won't break the batteries but like we have like a kit a kids radio where you cannot put them on or off you can make them louder 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 and when you make uh, when you turn them all the way down then they go off and if you have like have to shift them like at one percent two percent um volume then they will they will break the batteries uh, that's for example one point where such a device can be really useful i think this is something like this if you're checking for the for charger devices you should really check if they have like intelligent charging thingy a repair function something like this i think that that's really important i would say um and this is, those are only the three devices i'm happy with i have like i think at least four additional chargers which i cannot find at the moment because they are trash so had i just bought it <laughs> the expensive one right out, out of the out of the box I would have been uh, much happier in the whole process but yeah here it really applies or here it really applies buy buy cheap buy twice so this is the like ikea bookshelf kind of charger they don't sell this model anymore they have like a, a smaller version of it now um so that, that one i'm really happy with but uh that is just another thing if you have like uh, only if you have like only this charger and you need more than four batteries then um that's a problem so you, you will end up with at least two or three chargers uh anyway i think or most people if you're like a single you probably can live with just one uh and then you may should go for the for the more expensive option right away 
to the batteries themselves are the only one or the, the ones I can recommend without any hesitation are the IKEA ladder ones. So uh, those I have absolutely no problems whatsoever. They work all the they, they are absolutely fantastic. I have no problems, no issues whatsoever. They work all the time. I haven't broken any of them so far. And like like with other batteries, I sometimes experience problems. Those have been has have been rock solid. So that's why I have like a few packages of new ones because my AAA batteries have uh, gone a little bit low thanks to my kids and Christmas presents. Um, so storage racks like those are quite useful here. Really should have asked for a sponsorship from Ensman. I think um so I think that that brand is actually nicer. Um those are quite useful. You could bolt them to the wall and then you have your batteries at some central point and not just in a bag like I used to do before. So that, that's a high recommendation having something similar um with the battery sizes you need. So uh, and then another thing which I want to show here if you if you if you notice here in the rack you can actually see that all the batteries are in the same height. So there are adapters where you can put your double A's like here in to a, C, uh, a slot for uh, size C. I think there are also adapters for size D. So uh, the, you put your battery in there and then you can uh, put them in a the device. I'm not quite happy with this model, but because um, they're not, they're not like but uh, it works yeah on most devices if the if the spring on the bottom is small enough you don't have any issues i recently or uh, put i only have two left because i put most of them in my uh in my um flashlight in the in the car so i checked on those but with the ladder batteries i'm quite certain they will work, still work uh the aa has a little bit less capacity but it's like like if you only want to have AA or then you don't only need to AA and AAA, then you don't need to care about uh, like having chargers which can charge the the D and C cells. That's the advantage and uh, yeah, it's less hassle, hassle overall. And it's like like from from uh, uh you you don't get branded D and C cells anyway, so that's maybe an issue if you if you're sticking to pro ladder. As I would actually recommend, so, like like if you have an IKEA close by, then uh, then I would really recommend to go to go. Or the, the triple A's are a little bit shorter actually, but all other sizes are the same height. So triple A, D and C are the same height. So cannot really see it here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just got a couple. Of Here, so the same height. So that that's a workaround for that thing. Um, now let's go to the fancy charger, which can actually test the batteries. So just to give an impression. Um, so here, this battery is like a cheaper one. Should be two thousand five hundred. It's only one thousand six hundred, and I have really be unhappy with those batteries. Actually, if you buy batteries, other than analog or ladder. Um, one thing where you can see, they can like check a, a sign of quality is if they if they can pre charged and and ready to use. Um, because like like those have such a high self discharge that you could not sell them in that way. They would like that they, they probably would be, you would have to take them off the shelves in like six months or something. And uh, if they come with that with that class of um, rating ready to use something pre-charged ready to use then um that's a good sign usually like on the ikea they actually i don't think they say it like uh made in japan well yeah ready to use so that, that's a really a good sign if you have this on a on a better we see i've ever quite a mix match here because i i cannot go go buy a good deal without buying something so that's a problem of mine but yeah, if, if you see it, it's made in Japan, ready to use. Those are usually very good signs for, for a rechargeable battery. And it's probably a wise decision. It would be to, to stick to like just one brand so don't, that you don't mix match them as much as I do. Um, another thing 
Where you can wear like the, the only device which regularly breaks batteries. For me, that's like a uh, like the phone. They have I've seen this on several models of I think all Siemens phones. Um this because they're constantly charging the things, those break the batteries in like one to two years usually, or maybe two years if you're generous. But yeah, those those tend to kill batteries. Same is with uh, like solar lan lanterns. If you disassemble such a lantern, you will see that um, they actually have have small uh, N E M H uh, cells in them. And if if the, those uh, lights do not work anymore, usually it's the battery which is broken. And those also like last only a couple, one to a couple of years, because they are constantly charged with a very low currency as uh, current. So that's uh, the problem with those, I think. So. Let's go to those. Um, so here we have the ladder, and that that's really surprising. It actually, it actually has more capacity than um, than it's on the sticker, and I am almost certain that this battery has a, uh, already have been using this a couple of years. But yeah, if, if uh, um, I will, I have to retest this with this battery here, because this one I I modified a little bit to get it in and out of a kid's toy, and that's. This I certainly have had like for at least three to four years. So uh, this one, I'm not one hundred percent sure because IKEA switched to that gray branding. But uh, in the same way, they they uh, put the one thousand nine hundred versions here, and now they are back on selling those those capacities. And I'm not quite sure if they if they had uh, had them out of uh, store out of stock for a while or if I rebought some of them. So that this needs to be to do some retesting, but I'm really surprised here that this thing has like more more capacity than it's on the sticker after the test, uh, and absolutely confirms my um, confidence in those batteries. And then we have uh, number three, and he is dead, as you can see, around the 11 milliampere, and that's actually one of the ones which came with the, this phone, I think, originally. So um, that one died, and then we have like this is like from Aldi, I think, a battery and. This has like, yeah, lost like one third of its capacity. It would would still be usable, but um, yeah, if you if you're a couple of years down in your ownership, you probably want something like this. So maybe get right out of the way. So I put affiliate links to that out to some racks and this baser dingies. Um, yeah, don't ship out on the on the chargers because yeah, you you will buy. You will rebuy and buy rebuy and it's maybe maybe wiser to go with like two a little bit more expensive ones. Um yeah. If you have an IKEA close by, Lada is from the, the price performance point, I think it's about unbeatable. And and like like just for, for the confidence, those usually work better than any any normal uh, chemical batteries which are single use. Uh they, they are really really super solid. They I have them in devices which run for years at a time, and they 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 usually run for a year or two, so um really no problem with with the safe discharging. I'll do a companion video where I like check all my my batteries out in circulation, uh, but that's a little bit longer of a project. So check that one out if you're interested in those batteries because yeah, like as you as you can see with the color. And so uh, I bought quite a lot around, uh, tried quite a lot of batteries out, and yeah, I'll do a se separate video just on the charging and to show you guys what, um, how that progressed and <laughs> how the batteries work. Yeah, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this was helpful. I absolutely can recommend to switching over to rechargeables. Just get good ones, and like if you have a Kia close by. Those one would be my recommendation, uh, because like they cost like three times of uh, what a what a disposable battery costs. So they you will get you will make your money back. I think with the with the analogs, which may be the same batteries, it's not quite clear, but uh, it's almost certain. Uh, with the analogs, they are so expensive that you will like probably need like ten to twenty recharges and. That's quite like like for yeah, I've I have some applications where those <laughs> hold like a year or two, where like a normal battery would hold a half a year or or two years. So um 
yeah, you, you that will be some time to make your money back. But with the ladders, you you actually like after one two years, you will actually start saving some money, I guess. Especially if you have many applications. Yeah, yeah, guys. If you have any comments, write them in the comments. Thanks for watching. And actually, nobody makes it to the end of the video, but yeah, I hope it was informative and see the companion video because yeah, I'll test all my batteries and see how they're doing, which ones have to be thrown away and such. Yeah.